Hey viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about coronavirus or COVID-19. So let's start. Coronaviruses are large group of viruses. They consist of a core of genetic material surrounded by a lipid envelope with protein spikes. This give them the appearance of a crown and crown in Latin is called corona and that's how these viruses get their name. There are different types of coronaviruses that cause illness in animals and humans. In humans, coronaviruses can cause respiratory infections ranging from common cold to more severe diseases. These include severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus or SARS-CoV-2 that was first identified in China in 2003. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus of or MERS-CoV that was first identified in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in 2012 and Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus 2 or SARS-CoV-2 the name of virus that caused COVID-19 and was first reported in December 2019 If we talk about the origin of coronavirus Coronavirus circulate in range of animals and sometimes these viruses can make jump from animals to humans and so called as zoonotic disease a disease that spread from animals to humans The transmission of COVID-19 occur primarily between people through direct indirect or close contact with infected person or through infected secretion such as saliva and respiratory secretions or by respiratory droplets of an infected person so what is an incubation period a term commonly used in combination with covid-19 disease it is basically a time between exposure to virus and onset of symptoms this period on average is of 5 to 6 days but can be as long as 14 days Thus a quarantine should be placed in for 14 days for a person that is infected with coronavirus. If we talk about uh, the symptoms of coronavirus, the symptoms are basically appear in 2 to 14 days after the exposure. But common signs and symptoms include fever, cough, tiredness, loss of taste or smell. Other symptoms can include pink eyes that is also called conjunctivitis difficulty in breathing muscle aches and chest pain so if we talk about uh, the risk factor of developing coronavirus disease then people who are older have a higher risk of serious illness from covid-19 and this risk increase with age People who have existing chronic medical condition may also have a higher risk of serious illness. And a person with a compromised or weakened immune system is also at a higher risk of COVID-19 infection. If we talk about the complication caused by the COVID-19 virus, most people with COVID-19 have mild to moderate symptoms. but the disease can cause severe medical complications and lead to death in some people main complications include pneumonia and trouble breathing organ failure heart problems blood clot acute kidney injury and acute respiratory distress syndrome if we talk about the prevention and treatment of covid-19 US Food and Drug Administration that is also known as FDA has given emergency use authorization for two COVID-19 vaccines. Number 1 is Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine and number 2 is Moderna COVID-19 vaccine. These vaccines might prevent you from getting COVID-19 or prevent you from become seriously ill from COVID-19 if you got COVID-19 virus. You can also take additional steps to reduce your risk of infection. Avoid close contact with an infected person. Keep a distance of minimum 6 feet or 2 meters. Wash your hand with soap or hand sanitizer. Wear face mask and last but not the least, stay home and stay safe. 
So that's all for today about coronavirus and COVID-19. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. For more content about pharmacy and medicine, please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel Pharmacy D. Thank you.